I brushed her brows upwards, then trimmed the excess hair above it. Brushed it downwards and also trimmed. This will enable me to get the perfect brow grooming. I repeated the same process on the other one and then went ahead to prime her face with milk of magnesia. This is recommended for anyone using makeup because it helps to keep the makeup matte. For that even skin color, I went ahead to apply her foundation in the shade 608 so as to give me that perfect makeup finish. Then blended it all over her face with a blending brush. Here I highlighted her T zones. This helps to make those areas or to keep those areas highlighted all day. Then baked with a banana setting powder. This process helps to keep those areas matte and oily free then contoured her cheekbone the corners of her face and her nose bridge to give her a slimmer facial look I drew a clean line under the brows with my brow gel. Then also lined above it. This process I repeated on the other one. In concealing the brows, I use a concealer that is two shades lighter to conceal the arc. Then use a concealer that is the color of her foundation to conceal the tail, the head, and the upper parts of the brows for a final finished look. Then clean out the excess concealer afterwards. I used a matte eyeshadow on her upper grease. This is in the shade orange. Then deepen the grease with a darker shade. Here I use my eyeshadow primer so as to make the eyeshadow color pop out very well and also make it last longer. Then started filling in with my black eyeshadow for a black smoky eyeshadow look. After this, I blended the two colors so that there will be no harsh line seen there. Yeah, I lined her lash line with an eyeliner gel. 
this adds volume to the lashes. Here I'll be using my press powder to dust out the excess setting powder on her face, which is her color shade for a more uniform color. Then blush her cheek diagonally up to her hairline. Setting spray helps to lock up makeup. Then I applied my bronzer on the apples of her cheek, her cubic bone, and on her forehead. Then use it to highlight the bridge of her nose. I highlighted the arcs of her brows to keep them awoke. I first of all line the lips with my lip balm. This will reduce sharpness and also reduce the lipstick from being rough. Then went ahead to line the lip with a brown eyeliner gel. After lining it, I blended it so that there was no harsh line. Then I applied my nude color lipstick and blended out. I glued the first lashes very close to her lash line. After applying the glue on the strip, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you in my next video.